welcome back to the channel so I'm just gonna make a quick little video something that was brought up to me that I did not address in the last video and I apologize um, people have asked me why I didn't get a Cromwell AK member um, the reason was first of all I bought what was on sale at the time and it, it wasn't Chrome Molly. And like I said, I got this for $360 with the the uh, spring purchase. So you got the spring purchase, the K-member, and shipped to my door for like $365 or something like that. So the Chrome Molly would have been an extra $50 just because it's Chrome Molly, And then an extra $50 for the spring purchase. So I'm looking at, you know, possibly $100 more or so. They only had two of these left in stock um, at the time of their listing. So I just jumped on this deal. I will never argue with the fact that Chromoly is stronger and Chromoly is lighter. But that comes with an expense too. First of all, you're paying $100 for something that's lighter. It's only 4 pounds lighter. So it's not like you're saving 20 or 30 pounds here or there. You know? So... Um, my phone looks like it keeps going in and out. I can't tell. Anyway, uh, also the strength wise, it's a steel K member. It's designed to work with the daily rigors of daily driving. So it's not a. Uh, it's not like I'm out here doing wheelies and you know slamming down on it or anything like that. For daily driving and for what I got, it is gonna be just fine for that. So for that reason them two reasons alone you know it's it's not a, a huge deal for me to save a hundred even more even potentially a hundred and fifty dollars on chromoly when it still does what i need it to do um i've addressed this a few times and uh the thing is you know people people get called up on what they have and before i start this is not directed at anybody so um People get caught up on what they have and they, they're they either led to believe that they're buying the best or they just assume that it's the best for everybody. And that's not always the case. Sometimes what is perfect for me might not work for your application and what's perfect for you don't fit my application. You know, I got a friend that's got a friggin' thousand dollar audio system that can blow the back window out. I don't need anything like that. So I'm not going to go out and spend that kind of money on an audio system when that's not me. So these people out here that uh, say, "Well, don't get, don't get a K and N intake, get this intake, or don't get it's, guys, it's y'all, y'all get caught up in so many little things that it doesn't matter what the other person has. It's their car. Let them do it. You can say, "Hey, can I make a suggestion?" The downfall of this is. And you, you know, you give them some information, but um, th this thing is, uh, it goes beyond. I see it every day on Facebook, every day in the forums. Oh, you should have got this. I have this. Yeah, that that might be fine and all, but who needs a full UPR rear suspension on a daily driver? You know, they're not racing. But you're down on them because you have a friggin' race car. It's not for their application. Like I said, this ain't directed at anybody because I've had it come up several times and I see it daily. So I, I don't really know. These damn love bugs, man. Sorry, I'm in Florida. Love bugs are crazy. I don't. I washed the front of that and it's still covered in love bugs. It is just insane. But anyway, um, I just wanted to address that. Um, the reason I did go with the steel, and like I said, it's, I, you know, I, I might regret it down the road, but as of right now, it is starting to rain on me. As of right now, you know, I think it's perfect for what I need. And I did a lot of research. I didn't just dive into it. I've been doing research on it. And when that came up for sale, that's when I dove on it. But I didn't dive on it without doing research. Another thing that UPR told me is that chrome oil is harder to weld to. So if something were to happen, you couldn't get it repaired as easy. And still also bends where chrome oil is stronger, it'll actually fracture. So, I don't know. There, there's many trade-offs for many things. But uh, like I said, UPR built these for daily driving. And I don't think I'm going to have an issue there. Um, I just went around 
the block or so. I thought the power steering was still leaking, but there's there's not a drop from there. Um, pretty sure my valve cover gasket is leaking a little, but it's leaked down to where everything else was, so it kind of just makes a mess. But uh, I get some that has reddish tint. I get some that don't. So um, the oil cooler, I got the Cobra style oil cooler that uh, goes to the filter area. Um, I want to do new gasket and all that there, new valve cover gaskets, all that. Why, why I have it apart, so I might as well. I've already got the valve cover gaskets. i got to get that gasket, but might as well do what I can do. But I just wanted to give a quick update. Like I'm still waiting on my the brace that goes across the engine that holds it up so I can uh, drop the K-member without the engine falling out with it. Um, I'm going to insert a little idle clip. I want you all to tell me if this sounds like a normal 4.6 idle. Um... I'm not saying it's can, but I think it, it might be uh, something vacuum related, like a little bit of a vacuum leak. It runs great. Um, it, it'll still get out on you. So, I don't know, but there's, you know, little burbles in the exhaust that it sound it's... I don't want to say it sounds can, but it does sound like when people pull a vacuum line so the car sounds can, it kind of sounds that way. Um, it don't sound like the other 4.6s, and it could be just because my car has open exhaust and dump right before the axle so like i say guys this is just a little update uh robert i sent the micro mechanic out and uh as long as this weather is going to be permitted when it comes in friday i'm going to jump jump right into this k-member swap and getting this shit done stuff sorry well guys y'all seen that leak there it's uh i have the like oil cooler people say cobra oil cooler i think it's just a generic or just a ford oil cooler i don't think they came on crown vix and other things too i don't think it's just a cobra but i went and got the gasket for it because uh, it's leaking where it seals to the block and that's the gasket for that so uh when i drop the k-member and all that i already i have the oil pan gasket coming i'm gonna replace that replace that it it's not the oil pan gasket it is that where it's leaking and it just happened to run along the seam of the oil pan and drip down so this whole time i thought okay i've had a a little leak and then just recently it's got where it is just uh sorry about that it's got where it's just a crazy flow i just noticed that today i started up my belt was squeaking i was like oh man the power steering still leaking. can get underneath there and there's oil everywhere and then i sprayed it off and started up the car and watched and it's just nice steadily so i'm not going to drive it that's uh depends on platinum in there so uh, it's good oil but i, I don't want it all to run out so i'm gonna have to do another oil change unfortunately but i'll get all that taken care of um, like i said i the plan was for this weekend for me to do it my engine brace is supposed to be in it was supposed to be in friday then it said monday and now it says saturday Regardless, it's supposed to rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here. So today's Thursday. So, but I did get the gasket, and like I said, the oil pan gasket's on the way. I'll have everything out of the way. Might as well go ahead and do it, even though it ain't the culprit. It is 23 years old. So there's that. I appreciate it sorry for saying um a thousand times but thanks for everybody who has subscribed and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side turn around I done made it this far look back now that would be too smart shoot for the stars even when it gets hard put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I done made it this far look back now that would be too smart shoot for the stars even when it gets hard put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I won't